A painting is a beautiful thing, but it's flat. Uh, a sculpture, you can walk around it. A print was about the paper and about the tactile quality of the image. Glass had this way of bringing and bridging all these things together and then adding an extra component of light. That luminescent quality just kind of blew me away. It took it to a whole other level. My name is Joseph Paul Gerges. I am an artist living and working in Los Angeles. Jumping into a medium that you've never used before is scary. This was a big challenge, something that I'd never done before. The opportunity to work at Judson Studios was vital to the creation of this, this piece. We understood that we wanted to build depth in an image that actually had light. We wanted the wave to really come forward, the stag to have its own presence in the space, and the skull to really have anchoring towards the bottom of the picture plane. Uh, we went through 14 different heads until we got to a place where we could navigate successful painting, successful glass fusing, and successful letting all at once. I never thought it was going to be so complicated, but as you get into the articulation of all the details and the necessary processes that you're trying to incorporate, you begin to realize how much is actually involved. At the end of it, we had hundreds of pieces that we had to look at and we begin to piece them together like a jigsaw puzzle. There's something with glass fusing that can't be created in any other medium. The way that glass melts and reforms and combines to create something new, an artifice that is a surface and yet has a definite tactile quality to it, and has a color that is luminescent, you don't see in any other, any other type of work. And I think that was a huge draw for me. So I think there's something really beautiful about the outcome of this because that, that wave form that Hokusai created and that we recreated in glass really begins to come out and feels like it's crashing on top of the stag. The stag really stands out in the foreground and then the water really feels like it's receding in space that the, the objects really actually feel like they're sitting in the space too. I think working in Jetson Studios is an experience that I'm never going to forget. It pushed the limitations of my own skill set and brought together new tools that I never thought I'd have the capacity to use. I thrive off that experience and being around people who are at that level. I think fused glass is going to be a vital part of my practice from here on out. And I look forward to the next time where I will be in the studio as a resident working with everyone around me.